Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to another video again today. This is the fourth hearing of the election petition tribunal case between Mr. Peter Obi, who is a candidate of the Labour Party, INEC, and that of APC. So it would interest you to know that still up to today, the motion for the, the the case or the hearing to be televised hasn't been decided yet and on that note the securities are still not allowing people go close to the courthouse or into the court meanwhile outside the courthouse today seems very very cool as people we have already beginning to arrive mr peter will be the lion himself is already here with the chairman the labor party chairman mr Julius Abure. And as you can see, if you watch closely, you will also cite Mr. Apapa, Lamidi Apapa, who also is present, like he said in a rise interview the other day, where he says that he would also produce, he will also presents himself at the court irrespective of what happened last time but it seems that today instead of making noise he was very conscious and quiet as he went and stood and sat himself between i mean in the mix of the lawyers maybe for defense Meanwhile, the first case that will be heard today is between PDP versus INEC and then APC. Part of today's hearing, like I said before, will be decided, will be on the decision of whether the hearing will be televised or not. And we do hope that there will be an, an answer to this. Meanwhile, outside, you can see obedience movements. People are there um, jubilating and in their joyful mood to support the court hearing and as well not to cause any protests or any commotion in there. The security outside is very, very tight as they were also present. APC, some, some of the APC talks, which were finally chased out by the security people. Meanwhile, at the court today, you will see some people who came out all the way from Benue State to express themselves and to say their reasons why they would like this petition to be justified. Like, they, everybody want justice on this case. Here is Lamidi Apapa very well seated and waiting for the court to start. Inside the courtroom, the PDP-led counsel urged the court to strike out a process filed by INEC, saying it is an abuse of the court process because they are rather defending and fighting for the APC. Still on the PDP case, the presiding justice says he thinks they should come back tomorrow. But however, the APC-led counsel, Prince Fang Bemi, son, jokes, jokes that it is because of their worries about the justice that they are therefore seeking for the Monday adjournment. That is the last day, that is the last day allowed for pre-hearing for this matter. But the justice insisted and adjoins the matter to tomorrow by 10 a.m. instead of Monday as asked by the APC and Tinubu's counsel. Now, after a short break, the court is in section for Peter Obi, and then Peter Obi introduces himself as the first petitioner, while Julius Abure introduces himself for the Labour Party. Outside the courthouse, the police chase away the APC tongues that were disturbing and parading themselves around, trying to cause confusion as usual. The court, there was a court drama today as well. You guys will would remember that last court hearing there was also a court drama which has to be involved mr lamidi apapa today's drama as well now a court drama an unknown senior advocate stood up claiming he was instructed by the labor party to represent them wow can this be true? One of the judges scolded him saying there is no way he would come in and represent Labour Party when there is a team there already representing the petitioners. The judge cautioned the son saying he is a senior advocate and shouldn't just come when there is a party representing the petitioners. He wanted to keep speaking but the judges shut him up and told him to either leave or sit quiet and watch the proceedings without getting involved. On the matter arising for today, the Labour Party and the obese team is led by our Kalu San.
Today is for moving motions. The motions, you remember that in the last hearing of the court, the legal team of Labour Party that's representing Mr. Peter Obi, who is the first petitioner, cried out and said that INEC opted that day and opted today hasn't still allowed them or granted them access to the documentations that they need to back up their petition. They were at least requesting for at least 70% access to these documentations, which is what they present and today is a motion there, there is, today is a hearing for the motion for the order to be granted and for them to be allowed access to this motion but as the courts proceed finally the judge decided the judges decided that they won't rule on any of the motions today including the motion to televise the hearing they will give another date for that then, at the end of it all, today's hearing is thereby adjoined to tomorrow, May 20th at 10 a.m. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a brief update on what happened at the court today, which was massive. There were so much videos, a lot of videos, and Mr. Peter will be as well in his cheerful mood and as well as the Labour Party chairman, Mr. Julius Abure, in their cheerful mood because they know exactly what they are coming for. They have a reason for coming for it. This petition tribunal is not personal. It is not a case between Peter Obi and the Labour Party. I mean, Peter Obi and the APC or is a personal thing. No, it is about a new Nigeria. It is about those crying, those that cannot, that can barely feed, those graduates that can't even fend for themselves nor even to find a good job suitable for their profession, for those that can't even do anything while we keep borrowing and squandering why the country wallow in abject poverty because of lack of good leadership. This is what the petition and this tribunal is all about. Peter Obi's mandate must be reclaimed and we must still keep speaking about it until a new Nigeria is born. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do like, share this video and subscribe and follow for more. I will see you guys on my next update.